So everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little fondant basket that you can use on cupcakes or on cakes. I'm busy making Easter Easter themed cupcakes, so I'm going to fill them with speckled eggs, but you can fill them with flowers or anything else that you want to put in there. So yeah, let's get started. Some brown gum paste here that's fondant mixed with CMC powder. The CMC or Tyler's powder just makes it a bit more sticky and it, it hardens a lot harder. So what I'm doing is I'm going to roll this out so I can create the base of the basket. It's going to look like this. So I roll out my fondant or my gum paste and then I have a little cookie cutter that looks like this. It's slightly bigger than the size of my basket. And I just push out my little circle. And what you can do is just set them aside so they can harden a little bit while we get working on the rest of the basket. So the rest of the basket I make by using brown gum paste and I need to now roll it out into a very long, thin sausage. The thinner it is, the more refined your basket's going to be. So you need to roll it as thin as you possibly can. So what I'm going to do is just pause here and keep on rolling and show you how thin it's going to be at the end. So I've been rolling my little heart out and this is how thin I've rolled it. I've got a little bit too much gum paste so just putting that in the bag and always remember to close it up or else it hardens. And I've got my little sausage that I've rolled as thin as I can without it becoming too fragile. So now what I do is I just make sure that it's the same thickness all over the place if it's not perfect it doesn't matter it is a basket after all so now I am going to fold it in two like so and this is a bit tricky because it can break fairly easily so you need to be gentle just to make sure that it sticks together I'm just taking a little bit of edible glue which is water mixed with CMC or Tylo, Tylo's powder and I'm just going to put that on there and that helps it stick once I've twisted it. So now comes the fun part. I start twisting, twisting. You can't just twist from the one side you need to at one point start twisting from this side. What you can do is just gently hold it with your arm. Twist, twist, twist. And I think that's fine for now. Now we're going to take our base. It's a little bit harder by now. This is a bit easier to work with. And once again, so some edible glue where I'm going to stick my basket. Not too much or else it slips and slides. And then I start building my basket. So I just go round and round. And the easiest thing to do is as you go around just to twist a little bit to keep it nice and tight. I just go around. And once I get there, I need to put some more edible glue for it to stick. So I can go around a bit more. You can see it unrolls there. That's why I just start twisting again. And round I go. So what I found with this size basket is if that's my parrot, not my dog. If I make it three layers deep then it's a nice size so I'm just gonna go around 
and just build my little basket until I cut three layers of my twisty worm. So over here it's a bit long so I'm just taking my little knife and I'm chopping it off. Careful fingers, I usually cut my fingers as well. And there we go. Now you just need to get it nice and shaped. Make sure that it's nice and even. And it's ready to dry. But what you need to do in the meantime is make some more twisties. And just let them dry in this shape. And then once you're done, you can stick this on there. And you've got your little basket. Thanks for watching and watch out for more videos. Speak soon. Bye.